Scar, could you introduce us to your characters in this series? Chris, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, so I play Hurley, who works upstairs above the Warped comic book store at OK Pizza. And he's an aspiring chef who always loves to incorporate food into whatever situation he's trying to solve. So it might not always be the brightest uh, idea, but he has the heart and kind of like in the pilot, he uses Italian dressing to try to help the situation of getting the boot off of Ruby. And um, it's those little situations that it may not have been the best idea by using food to get it off, but he had the heart and he wants to help his friends. He really loves his friends and he'll do anything for them. Yeah, so I played Darby on the show and Darby is this very creative and smart, um, charismatic girl. She's a total comic book buff. She knows everything and anything there is to know about comics. She's also very fashion forward. She designs her own clothes and she hopes to start her own line one day. So the combination of those two things makes her the ultimate cosplayer. She's always cosplaying. Um, like I said, she's super intelligent, but she kind of gets stuck in her own world sometimes and doesn't realize that she's living in the real world. So we see a lot of comedy come out of that. Um, and she's always there for her friends, always there to lend a hand. And um, there's never a dull moment when she's around. <laughs> And Darby's always dressing up in different characters. Which was your favorite in season one? As if we're lucky enough to get a season two, is there somebody that you would love to cosplay as? Ooh, that's such a good question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, how could I possibly pick a favorite? I mean, every day when we would go into like our fittings every week, I would see my like clothes on the rack, and I would just be stunned every single time. I would just. It was so, so fun. Every day I was like, how could I like possibly just take this stuff without anybody noticing? It was the coolest thing. I think my, I love my outfits from the pilot. I have two characters that I cosplay as. Um, one of them is like called Amazonia and she's like covered in leaves. That was definitely like one of my favorites. Um, I also have this outfit later on in the series um, where it's a it's a dress that's like covered in like musical notes and I'm very musical so that's one of my favorites and she's wearing like this little cute beret one of my favorite outfits um, if we hopefully get to come back I would love to cosplay as Wonder Woman she's one of my favorite mm. heroes um, she's the first female to headline her own comic which I think is super huge and uh, you know I love that she like is is resilient in, in a way like no other superhero. She holds her own and, you know, she combats and fights all while wearing a pair of wedges, which I think earns her extra points. <laughs> Christopher, like you were saying, your character comes up with all these crazy ideas, which was the most shocking to you? And how much fun is it to play a character like this? Oh man, he, yeah, he has so many crazy inventions that he comes up with. Um, I mean, I know he has like a device that's like kind of like it shoots things out through like a like a hose that he wears. Um, sometimes you'll see it in some like trailers that like he's wearing like this like jetpack looking thing. Um, it's just it's cool. And it's also like really cool, like the special effects department, how they can pull off some of these different um, these different like scenes. And it's like things I didn't know were possible. And they're just so awesome in the way they can pull it off. Um, yeah, I mean, my favorite. Yeah, my I can't think, I think, that, I think that's my favorite one is the jetpack one. The most fun part is getting, because a lot of time there's a mess in an episode. It's a huge mess. And a lot of times it's because of me. So getting to see the three of them get covered in stuff because of something my character did is hilarious. So I think that it really pays off. You know, at the end of the episode, they're all covered and they're all like, oh, we, we, we got to go take a shower now. And I'm just like, they're like, ah, because they, <laughs> they got it covered because of something my character did. <laughs> That. A question for the both of you. This is one of your biggest projects to date. Did anything surprise you about the experience? What did you learn about uh, your craft? No, yeah, I mean, I've, Nickelodeon is something that I grew up with. So getting to be on this is such an honor. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess something that surprised, like I had never worked on like a studio lot, like what we did with the show. I had never worked on a soundstage. So getting that experience of like when they say, all right, we're rolling. And there's like a bell that rings throughout the studio. It's just like that kind of thing that you see in movies a lot. So getting to experience it in like real person was just so awesome. Um, yeah, and I'm just incredibly grateful, especially having such a great cast to work with. Um, yeah, definitely a surreal experience. Yeah, same here. It was a super surreal experience for me as well. I grew up watching Nickelodeon. So now being on a Nickelodeon show is like my, my inner you know child is just freaking out. It's totally geeking out right now over this. Um, I'm super grateful. I think one thing that surprised me was just 
the bond that I created with the cast and the production at, at large, everybody was so sweet and down to earth and, and, and loving and, you know, gave us the liberty to have our own creative space, which was really nice. Um, I think something that surprised me was also like the big gags that we did. I was, you know, super surprised to see like how much actually went into these moments that you might see on screen take place for only like five seconds, three seconds, but that take hours to shoot and all of the different brilliant minds that come together to create these scenes. Um, I just, it just amazed me and it really took me by surprise. And I was super grateful to be a part of it and see it firsthand. Speaking of that, Bob, there's a great chemistry that comes off the screen between the entire cast. How are you all able to build that? And do you have a favorite offset moment? And that's a question for the both of you. Yeah, I mean, we we get along so well. I mean, even after we wrapped production for season one, it was like we still stayed in touch and always going on Zoom calls, FaceTiming each other. I know like me and Ariana, we're having like a battle as to who can finish um, the <laughs> Avatar show on Nickelodeon first. So we're like going back and forth. Um, yeah, and we we really made it like important that we we want to like keep that chemistry because we wanted to we want people to see that same chemistry both on and off screen. And I think they're like my best friends now. So it's mm. it really helps to be able to work with people that you really like work well with and they're like your best friends in your life. Um, and I think my favorite offset moment, gee, we've had so many, uh, we all, I think almost every single like Friday night after we finished, uh, filming for the day, we would always go out to eat. That was something that we always made sure to do. Like after every episode always went out, uh, to go eat some food and we would just eat, uh, until like the night it ended. And like, it was just, it's really cool. It's like those memories that like you, you know, you're going to be cherishing. So it's, uh, yeah, I think just getting to spend that much time with them is just so, so much fun. Same here. I, I completely agree. We, we've all become just the best of friends and I'm so grateful for them. I think it's one thing to get to say that you love the project that you're working on, but another to say that you get to love you, you love the people that you get to work with so dearly. So I'm, you know, how blessed am I to be able to say both of those things? Um, but yeah, we, we were all, it's, you know, it was hard because when we were filming too, it was, you know, we're still in quarantine and <laughs> You know, so we couldn't really have a lot of, you know, face to face interaction as much as we would have liked, because whenever we were like off uh, off set, we were, you know, in our trailers and not able to see each other as often as we would have liked. But it's amazing how we still reached out to each other and, you know, virtually we FaceTimed, we communicated with each other over text. And it's it, it's amazing to me that we were able to build that connection on a virtual platform. And I think that just goes to show how much, how close we are and how much we love each other because mm -hmm. we were able to do that virtually. Um, one of my, I think one of my favorite memories, other than the fact that like we went out every Friday, that's definitely one of my favorites is that in between like takes when we were on break, we would always go play basketball outside. We had a basketball hoop and we would play horse on our off time. That was always so fun. Oh, we yeah. would win the game of horse. You know, <laughs> uh Anton I think and I mean it was really competitive <laughs> we we get very competitive when we're playing horse um but no Anton I think Anton always pulled out with a win yeah I think yeah Anton I think Anton was the one who like most consistently won I remember one time I I was wearing like three inch heels and I came out I was like I want to play basketball <laughs> and I made like three in a row and I was so excited but that that didn't last very long it was just a lucky three streak well, yeah you had so many moments where you just like sunk baskets for like a 10 yeah. for like a 10 basket streak and it was like very, whoa very isolated moment <laughs> but yes thank you <laughs> The warp set is filled with so many little Easter eggs, other Nickelodeon shows. I think you guys are going to touch upon this, but which was your favorite Nickelodeon show and why? Oh, man. Um, I mean, now it's the current one I'm watching, Avatar. Like, getting to watch Avatar at home and then going onto the set the next day and just getting to see these, like, memorabilia pieces was so wild because it's like, I don't know, it just really makes you think like, oh, you're on that scene network and it's cool to get to see all that. But yeah, no, I love the set. It's like massive. It's so cool. I get starstruck every time I go on it. Same here. I mean, oh, I'm obsessed with our set. Our set is just stunning and breathtaking. You notice something new every time you walk on that set. <laughs> but um, my favorite uh, Nickelodeon TV show would probably have to be Victorious. I'm a singer and I'm very musical. And so I, I absolutely love that show. It's definitely top on my list. 
And the show looks like so much fun. Do you have a favorite scene or episode that you're excited for your fans to see? Mm, good question. There's so much that I'm excited for fans to see. I'm so excited for fans to see all of the action and the comedy and, you know, all the messiness and goofiness that's going to be going on. Um, I'm really excited for characters to see the episode Creeped. You might be able to tell what that episode is about just by the name. <laughs> There might uh, be a lot of creepiness going on in the funniest way. I'm also really excited for fans to see my character kind of step out of her comfort zone and try something that she's never tried before. But you're going to have to wait and watch to find out what that is. Yeah, I think yeah. Cre- Creep was one of my favorite for sure. Like that was so much fun to film because uh, it's like a horror type episode and it's just really cool. Um, and then we also like later on, we have like a cool... Uh, episode where there's like a movie set that's built and it was like really cool to like work on that um kevin smith the like the comic book store owner and the author filmmaker he makes an appearance on the show so him being on there was such an honor as well so i'm excited for people to see those episodes because it's like the set was so cool i mean i just every episode is just so much fun to film and then final question for the two of you with the show dropping this week what do you hope audiences take away after they see it um well we really hope that fans are able to really embrace all of the qualities that make them unique i think our show is really special in that it celebrates individuality all of those quirks and idiosyncrasies all of those things that make you you to really just hone in on those and not think of them as insecurities but as assets to really capitalize on them um you know we take the definition of normal and we turn it into something that just simply means being your very best self and um, not being afraid to put yourself out there and to just not let the light that shines within you to dim and so we hope that fans really feel that acceptance and self-affirmation when they're watching our show for sure yeah I think like the friendship aspect I mean it really I love how it really capitalizes on the friendship and it just in exactly what almost every every single thing that Ariana was saying is I totally agree with it like showing that individuality and showing that, like, I mean, it kind of shows, like, nerdiness is cool. It's, like, it's fun getting to, like, show these individual uh, characteristics of all our characters and just showing the friendship that we can create when we have these different uh, characteristics. But, yeah, I really hope, like, people can uh, learn all that from the show. 